Welcome back to Taya's YouTube. Yesterday we showed you how to carve and make on a piece of styrofoam to make it look like a mountain. Today we're going to show you how we seal it and paint it to complete the process. Let me show you the product I'm using. I'm using LePages. Again, I find LePages is very good quality and it's exactly what I, exactly what I need for the situation I'm in. So it's called LePages Spackling. And it's a quick dry. It's a 15 minute dry. So you can either apply it with a putty knife or a chisel or a paintbrush. Now I tried the paintbrush and I find that the putty knife works better. It's much like plastering a wall. You don't want to put too much on there, but you want to put enough on there that seals it, but that the, the texture underneath still comes through. So I've done part of it now already and I'll let you watch as I continue. you want to make sure that you don't put too much on. It's not too thick a layer because the texture has to come through. The ceiling really adds a quality to the texture. Take your time with this, as it will pay off in the end. Anywhere that you feel you may have put too much on, you just don't hesitate to scrape it off. Now we have to wait about 15 to 20 minutes to let that completely dry and then we will continue with the process. So now that the sealant is dry and you can tell by touch that it's dry, we can get on to the painting part. This is the fun part. This is actually where you start seeing the results of all the work that you've put into this one piece of styrofoam. A number of colors are going to be used. First of all, we're going to make a gray out of the white and the black. Um, I buy these in the larger, larger bottles. This is called Apple Barrel Paint. It's a craft paint. Any kind of craft paint will do. They're acrylics and they're washable. So these can be rinsed out in water. It's really good paint. Uh, I also have here a burnt umber, which I'm going to add for contrast and also as well bright yellow to lighten up the burnt umber somewhat and we have a metallic gray which we'll, we'll be adding in spots. We're not going to use a lot of this. First of all we're going to be coloring the majority of it gray. The only type, places we will leave alone is the areas where we have snow banks and this one this mountain here is going to be in the background so it's going to be a much lighter gray than this one and this one. So let's get started and see how it works. Play it by ear. You are free to use as much or as little of each color as you wish. There's no hard and fast rules. I would not make a very, very dark gray in the beginning. You can always make it darker. It's harder to make it lighter once it's on the, on the mountain, I mean. It's easy to make it lighter when it's on your plate. The other thing is I like to use water when I'm painting. Make it more of a wash than a paint. When it's a wash, it's easier to apply. It looks a little lighter, it's not quite as dense. So that looks to be about the right gray. It won't go on smoothly, simply because
of the texture that's on the mountain. As you can see almost right away, it looks like stone, pretty much right away. Now you don't have to paint right to the bottom because that's not going to be seen. It's behind the, the levels of the platform. forgotten how satisfying this is. Now I'm going to paint this mountain here into the background. It's going to be quite a bit lighter. This one also is not going to be as defined as the other two mountains because it'll be, uh, we would like the effect of being in the distance, in this far distance. Too dark. I think I will dry brush this with the white afterwards to make it lighter. Little drops of gray there. I don't know if you can see the difference. I certainly can. It doesn't hurt to add a little bit of lighter gray as well on the for contrast. wash this off and I'll start with another color. I may let that dry first for a little while. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. So I've let that dry for a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes or so. And now we're going to uh, add a little bit of color to the mountain so that it's not completely gray. Add a little bit of, use a little bit of water and a smaller paintbrush, I think. 
because I don't want to make this quite as noticeable. And we're just going to add a little bit at a time. Very much like a wash, so that it's not too noticeable. But it does look much, much nicer when it's finished. You need a lot of patience for this. So whenever you see a streak that you leave a streak behind, you kind of diffuse it a bit. You don't leave a huge streaks on, on the uh, mountain. This is so creative for me. It is wise to let it dry between various colors because otherwise the colors get very, very muddy and they don't they're not defined well enough. After a little while, you get into being a little bit impatient and would like to see the end of it. However, it's wise not to rush it. It's not quite as harsh looking. Just add one drop of bright yellow. And perhaps another drop, drop of burnt umber. And a drop of white. And a little more yellow. It's not quite coming out the color I like. There we go. This, uh, this color you want to be really sparing don't want to put a lot on. you have a different look again. There we go. Yes. Looking good. Okay, and I will let that dry and then I will go over there with a dry brush, which means I will dip it into the paint and then wipe it off as much as I can and very lightly go over those areas with a dry brush in the white. We'll add a snow effect to it. And then we will work on then we will work on the snow banks. Um, contrary to belief. Snow banks, snow banks are not completely white. They're, there's different colors in the snow banks as well. So today we've completed the ceiling of the mountain and the painting. And I think it looks fairly good. There's going to be some touch-ups done. But all I have left to do now is to dry brush the gray areas to make it, give it a snow-like effect, to clean up the snow banks, 
put a little bit of color in the snow banks, and also dry brush the, the mountain that's in the distance. Then all that's left to do is put it up on the wall and see how it looks. That's it for today. Join me again the next time. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.